Hello everyone. Today uh, I figured I'd go over, I've done this before, but um, there's a much easier, faster, simpler way to do this, and that's uh, to make uh, real quick tight-fitting clothing uh, for your Second Life avatar. This will work with any avatar, but um, it works especially good with the Second Life avatar, or this technique, overall technique. Uh, Avastar has some tools too that makes it easier. So um, that's the reason why I'm doing this tutorial again. Uh, kind of the same tutorial. But um, that's basically what we're going for. We're going for a little lip on these pants and a, just a quick easy way to make clothing uh, for your Second Life avatar. So let's get started. Let's um, start a new scene. Oops, let's start a new scene. Get rid of the cube. Add in Avastar. We'll zoom in. And this is just so quick and easy. We're going to select the legs here. Avastar has an option to free selected We're, we don't want to hide we want to keep keep the original and we don't want static because we want it to be rigged you could do it static if you're gonna rig it later on your own then you could use that but let's freeze and if you notice now this it's labeled this what we're selected on is labeled lower body mesh and it actually moved it to the last um, layer. Um, I'm going to hit M and move it to the second layer. And then we're going to isolate that. So we're going to isolate these legs. So we're going to hit Tab into Edit Mode. I'm going to hit 1 on the keyboard and then 5. And let's zoom in on these feet because we don't need these feet in a pair of pants. And I want to see totally through the mesh. I I'm hitting B to group select and to box select. And then I'm selecting all of that. Real simple. Um, X faces. Okay, so now we have basic pants. Now, how do we... Let me just uh, adjust this so we can see this a little better. I'll add a material, and we'll make it uh, blue or something. And tab into Edit. Select All. Assign. There we go and we'll show the first layer okay so now we have a basic pair of pants but they're still skin tight if I select the other you know legs underneath you can't even see the pants because they're occupying the exact same space so how do we get these pants to sit above the legs and this is the part that's just uh, I just kinda figured out and it's really simple we're gonna go to our modifier tab and we're gonna add a modifier we're gonna add a solidify modifier now most of the time most of the time uh, this would be a very bad thing you don't want inside geometry but I'm gonna show you a quick trick to eliminate uh, it's a feature it's not a trick uh, to eliminate that inside geometry now the first thing I did I want that solidify modifier to be above my armature because I'm going to apply it anyways. So at, we have thickness. Now, that's not really what we want to deal with, though. We want an offset. Okay, you see how the body lines up here with these pants. If we move this offset like that, then we get some distance between the body and the mesh. Okay, and that looks about right. Maybe we could go 
a little less than that. Maybe we could go like that. And what I also want to check is rim. Okay, if we, I want to show my wireframe here. Uh, it says fill rim. Now the rim is this part right here. Right along here, it's filling this rim. Okay. And now the second button says only the rim. Now if we look at just our mesh, and I select off only the rim, you'll see it gets rid of all of that inside geometry that it created with the solidify modifier. Okay, so that's all we need to do to this. And we have our pants all set up, so let's apply that. And now if we see, we have a pair of pants that sits perfectly over top of the Second Life avatar. Even down at the ankles. It sits perfectly. Now, uh, just another little trick here, just to save time. I'm going to add another Solidify modifier. We'll isolate this. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want one more lip in here. Now, I could just add uh, a whole other, you know, loop to it. But um, this just seems to work so easily. And I don't want any offset on this. I just want to make sure I click only rim and I'll apply that and now if I go into edit mode I can take this inside rim that I created I want to be on edges and not see through okay so if I go I select one of the edges then I hit alt select I have the whole edge there now I can scale this in so I have a little bit more geometry that's going to hide any kind of body parts that might come through here. And I'll just scale in just a little bit more. Maybe pull it down just a little bit more. And there we have pretty much our finished uh, mesh. We can do this at the bottom also. So select one, alt select, and we have the whole loop there. And one thing I want to do before I do any of this is options. I want to hit my uh, mirror options. And now I'm going to scale. And you'll see the other side is doing the same thing. I'll move this up a bit. Scale it in a little bit more. And there we go. We have our outfit. Now the only other... Th we have our pants at least. Um, the only other thing we want to do is we want to go into our UV map and we want to just uh, adjust this real quickly I'm gonna hit this little symbol that will match up what I'm selecting with um, the UV window so I'm gonna select one I'm gonna get out of perspective into orthographic mode here by hitting 5. Now Alt Select. Now I have that whole edge. Now I can see that whole edge here, that whole loop. And I'm going to hit G, Y, and just pull it up just a little bit. Now I need the next loop. So I select one of them, Alt Select. I have that whole loop. I can even zoom in a little bit more. I'll G, Y, and move that up. And now, because I'm outside my texture area, I'm going to box select. So that's B. And then select this whole top. So I get all of these without selecting anything else. And then I'm going to hit G, Y, and move it down so I'm inside the texture area. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. 
So I go and select one of the edges, Alt Select. And I don't, I think I have to select both if I want them to move. Let's just give this a try. Yeah. Um, I have to select both. So now I have to hit Alt, Shift, and select that edge. And now I have both edge selected here. So now I can hit G, Y, and make a little bit of a gap there. Maybe I'll pull it down to there. Now I need this edge, so select one, Alt Select. Now the other side, Alt Shift Select. Now I can go G, Y, bring that down. Now I want to box select, so B. And I want to select that whole bottom line, and then I don't look like I have anything hanging over, but I'll pull it up just a hair. Like there. Okay. And that's it. That is making a pair of pants that will fit perfectly over top of the Second Life Avatar. And it's already rigged and everything. So if I select his leg, uh, go into pose mode. Just like that. It's already rigged and everything. Now you can just put whatever texture you want on it. And if you wanted shorts, then you would just uh, cut off all the way up until the legs. You could, um, let's go into default so I can edit this a little bit more. So if you didn't want the ankles tight, then you would you would select select see through. Um, so box select and select all of those, and then I could scale them out. Oops, um, what do I want to do here? Um, here we go, box select. So I just have this one and I can scale that out. Um, maybe I could even go control plus and go like that. And then I could scale. Maybe I'm getting too much there. Control minus. So scale like that. And actually, I, I don't want to go up, so let's just scale on the X. And then maybe scale on the Y. And then pull this back a little bit. There we go. So that way the ankles aren't so tight. And maybe I'll go minus one. Scale on the X, minus 1, scale on the X, so now I have uh, jeans that kind of flare out just a little bit, scale on the X, just like that. And I would probably go through and fix some of this, so I box select this with scale X, select one, box select, and I think I can still use all of that. So I would just want this to not be so tight around the knee. But it's little things like that you can do real quick to change the mesh. And of course you still have, uh, you can still use the UV map that, um, the Second Life UV map for those pants. So if you already have uh, jeans already made or something, you can just slap them on these pants and then you have a fully working 
mesh pair of jeans for Second Life. So uh, that's a quick look at how to do this, though, and have a good one, everyone.